Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to actually solve missing angles using what we call adjacent angles. Adjacent means next to. So we are saying that two angles are sitting side by side. They are actually next to each other. So let's see what we mean by that. If we look at this example here, we see that we have this angle here marked with an X and this angle here marked with a blue dot and we can see that both are meeting each other at a vertex and both also share a common arm so here we can tell that both of them make one large angle let's see how this actually works and how will we use adjacent angles to find missing angles that we are needing to solve in this case here we have an angle marked with 20 we have another angle marked with a missing number and we've put X to say that we have a missing number we would like to find we know that the total of the two angles is 30 degrees so if this was 20 and this is missing and we know the total is 30 that means X must be 30 degrees which is the total minus 20 degrees so we are saying 30 is the total take away the 20 we are saying X is 10 degrees 30 is the total take away the 20 X must be 10 degrees and in mathematics very important we have to give a reason for our answer when we're working with geometry there's a special topic called reasoning in geometry so here we're going to learn how to reason so we have found out that X is 10 because we said 30 take away 20 now we're going to write our reason and in fact if your test or the question says give reasons for your answer and you didn't give reasons you're going to make a mistake you're going to lose marks and sometimes maybe even get a zero for not putting the reason now here because this is adjacent angles we say X is 10 and we write our reason adjacent angles very very easy so we've justified our answer we said X is 10 degrees why because they are adjacent angles let's use another example hopefully you'll get a better understanding once again we look at these angles here and we notice hang on these look like adjacent angles they both share a common arm and they both are meeting at a vertex we also realize that the total of both angles is 130 degrees so this angle here plus that angle there total 130 degrees however we've been told that B is missing this angle here is missing so let's work it out B equals to the total 130 take away the 70 that means B is going to be 60 degrees so the total is 130 we're taking away the 70 we're going to be left with 60 degrees and as always we have to write our reason adjacent angles is the justification we are reasoning we are saying B is 60 because these two are adjacent they both make up 130 130 take away 70 B must be 60 degrees let's look at a third example hopefully now you're getting better and better at understanding this maybe you want to pause the video and see if you can do this one yourself and then check afterwards okay we know that we have two angles we have this angle here is 110 degrees and this angle here is 120 degrees we know they are adjacent because they have 
a common vertex and they share a common arm. So they are adjacent, they are sitting side by side next to each other. And we know that in total, they all, both together, make y, which is the total of both together. So in total, we want to know what y is. y is the total of this angle here plus that angle there. y equals 110 degrees plus 120 degrees y must be 230 degrees reason adjacent angles that's our reason we are saying 110 plus 120 they are adjacent angles they make the total of 230 degrees last one another adjacent angles that we have where we know one is missing it's marked with an x the other one is 40 we look at it and we know okay straight away they share a common arm they share a vertex these are adjacent angles guess what the total is 60 degrees very easy x is 60 degrees which is the total minus the 40 degrees so the total take away the 40 x is 20 degrees and of course our reason very very important adjacent angles we are justifying we are saying the reason we got this answer is because we are using the rules of adjacent angles as you can see very basic we're going to learn more later on through other examples of different types of angles this is one of them called adjacent angles